6, and we're working for you with five things to know today. In Piqua, a driver was seriously injured when his truck was hit by a train this morning. Deputies say West Statler Road was closed for construction, but the man drove on it anyway. Three suspects accused of leading police on a high-speed chase through Dayton are in the Montgomery County Jail this morning. One was arrested when he jumped out of the SUV halfway through. Police caught up with the other two in a parking lot on West 3rd Street. A Columbus man accused of supporting terrorism will be arraigned on federal charges today. Investigators say the 23-year-old went to Syria last year where he was trained in explosives and hand-to-hand -hand combat. The union representing Dayton school bus drivers says it wants to continue negotiating with the school board. Last night, drivers rejected the latest contract offer. They hope to reach an agreement before Tuesday when they could go on strike. Republicans are converging on New Hampshire today for a leadership summit. Several of the candidates hoping to get the party's presidential nod will be there. And New Hampshire's politically significant because it always holds the first primary.